How's it going everybody? Today is day number 68 of the 100 day challenge. I'm feeling good. I'm focused. I'm ready to get the rest of this day knocked out. Give you all my quick check in for Friday uh, pre weekend pep talk. Um, I've just been thinking about the days I've been knocking out on this diet and just doing this diet in general. And I understand that a lot of people are doing the diet and there's a lot of people following this channel and we're all in this together. People are climbing this this mountain we're all climbing this mountain together and I you know like I said I am among everybody that is doing this as well we are all in this together um, I am far from my desire weight goal I want to you know get down to my BMI which is in the two, 180 to 200 pound range and I have a long way to go on this diet and um, I just want to get it done in the past I've done challenges and I've had a lot of success on this diet. I'm having, I'm currently having success on this diet. But if there's any piece of advice that I can give to anybody doing this diet is to do it all the way. Just go all the way to the end. And that's what Dr. Lewis um, p says to do in the uh, book and just in general. Go all the way to the end. Get to, d Identify your end game, your desired weight, and just don't stop until you get there. Um, you know, as humans, we definitely have patterns and stuff like that. So, we, I mean, you don't get away from it too long. Even if you're not going to go directly non-stop until you get to your goal, always keep your goal in mind. Always check in with that scale. Always watch what you're eating. Always count your calories. Take it very serious because, I mean, me personally, you know, I, I make these video vlogs and, um, it's almost a reminder to myself on just how thing, how it can be done and just to stay motivated because it's like there's so many people out here that are just um, and, I, and I'm not really worried about what my peers and other people are doing in the world, but I don't want to fall into that category of, you know, being so distracted, never taking care of any serious business. And like I said, my health is number one. I feel like once you identify with who you really are and you dig down to that greater you inside once you lose that desired weight and you peel off all that weight and you just make a dramatic change it just opens up your mind and unlocks so many so much potential within yourself and i feel like i i kind of translate me with this diet and losing weight to other things i want to do in life i have several goals that i want to achieve and it's going to take the same mental toughness and consistency and and all of that in order to achieve other goals that i want to succeed but health is number one my health is the number one goal so i'm just so motivated to get down to a desired weight you feel better you kind of just you know i don't know if a lot of people subconsciously we put limits on ourselves and you know we don't think about all the possibilities because we feel constrained by how much we weigh or not feeling desirable or not feeling like we're up to our best and it's totally within our control to get to our best as far as losing the weight that we need to lose like I've said before on this channel when I'm not in shape and when I'm not feeling or looking good or feeling um, that confidence about myself I don't want to do anything it just shuts down everything else and I know there are a lot of people that can identify with that. It's like, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to dance. You don't want to go out. You don't want to take pictures. You don't want to wear, you know, once you, you don't want to wear clothes, you just want to wear the same old clothes. Like I, you know, not that clothes are everything, but you know, as I'm losing weight, I'm able to explore more clothes that I have that I haven't thought about in a while. I got like clothes that are just sitting in a bag in, my, in the garage and, and, you know, sitting at the bottom of, you know, my drawers and closets that, you know, not that, like I said, clothes and everything, but you definitely feel more motivated to, to dress differently when you start losing weight as opposed to wearing, you know, your fat clothes, which is what me and my girl call them. We call them our fat clothes, the clothes that we can fit comfortably. But um, I'm not going to go too deep into this. I'll go into a part two tomorrow. But the whole thing I want to bring home is that lose weight, get on this diet. Keep knocking these days out. Don't compromise your diet for nothing. Because I'll be thinking about all this stuff that we want to eat. And, you know, you feel you get deprived once you're going through a diet. And, you know, it seems like a long time. But 
you make it so much progress and it's the fastest way for you to lose weight but i be thinking you know we start thinking about oh yeah well we definitely want to go here we want to go there but the bottom line pardon me the bottom the bottom line is like someone said food can wait uh, you know it, it is what it is you just gotta stay strong and stay focused i hope you all are getting that success on this diet and i will talk to you all tomorrow and happy dieting stay strong this weekend